So what we're going to do, we're going to come up to the top here and we're going to grab ourselves a sky. And then we're going to come over to our asset browser. If you're not on S24, go to content browser and you'll be able to do this same thing. It's just going to look a little bit different, but the concept is the same. So we're going to be searching for HDR. And so you should all be able to see these, um, whether you're in the content browser or not, you should have access to a bunch of these. And we're going to go with, what one should we go for? Hmm. Let's just grab this sunny road. So I'm going to double click that. And we've got our material now down here. Let's just close down that asset browser. And then I'm going to drop this onto my sky. So we've got that on there now. And we can't see any difference. And that's because we need to change um, our render settings as well. So if we open our render settings, which is this kind of uh, icon here with our little like um, cog wheel, we're going to do um, two things. So the first is changing our renderer to physical. We're not going to change any other settings because, you know, that's that's kind of week six. And I'm going to right click in here or we can go to effect. And I'm going to grab global illumination. And we can see really quickly that that's actually already made a pretty big difference. So if I switch that off and I switch it back on, we can see we're getting some kind of uh, slightly more natural lighting going on. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to really quickly grab a sphere. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to drop this same material on my sphere. And the reason I do this is so I can see, uh, I can rotate this texture now and I can see kind of where the light's coming in and I can decide um, now which angle I want the light to be coming in uh, based on this. So if we come into on my sphere, come onto my tag, we can actually just grab, oh, just grab that top one. And now if we watch the sphere, if I come down to here and we can do the offset on our uh, U and we can see now we're sort of, the light's gonna be coming in from this direction. And so let's say this is offset by 25%. So I can come to my sky um, little material tag and we can add that and we'll see now that we've got a bit of different lighting kind of going on. So we can kind of switch my sphere off now because we don't need that. And so originally it looked like this. So we're getting some kind of darker areas around here because the light is actually, I think, slightly behind this kind of back wall. And so if we just rotate it slightly, we've brightened up this entire image and we're just getting some nicer lighting overall.